The other one I'll never forget is when we were trying to build independence in our students. And so he just suggested to us in faculty meeting during one of our short sessions that if you want students to be independent learners, you have to give them choices. And that he was gonna encourage us to find choices that we could give students in the classroom. So we did what a normal faculty did. We said, fine, that's good. And we went our merry way. Well. About a week later, he starts his hall wandering activities. And so he's coming down the hall, and I'll never forget when he came to my classroom. He's, uh, the students are gone, and he just pokes his head in, asks me how it's going, and I, you know, fine. And then he says, so how many choices did you give your students today? Well, oh my goodness, I hadn't paid any attention to that. So I looked at him, and I kind of lied, and I said, I gave him three, thinking I'll get rid of him. No, no, not Mr. Brownis. So he looked at me, and he said, so what were those choices? Well, then I knew I'd gotten caught, and so I tried to make up something, but he never said that he knew that I was making it up because he'd made his point. And so he comes down the hall the next week, and he starts saying, how many choices did you give your students? I already knew. I gave them two, and here's what they were. And so he had this interesting way through hall wandering day after day and week after week to move us to be doing the things that he was wanted done by calling attention to them asking us if we were doing them, asking us how we were doing them. And over time, the teachers started to fall in line and do those kinds of things. 